Welcome back to In Focus. Uh, here in Washington, a new art ex exhibit from Nigeria and masks one of Africa's most artistic legacies. Viewers Caroline Turner has more. Central Nigeria Unmasked features objects and artistic styles of the many ethnic groups that live in the Bainu River Valley, a long tributary of the Niger River. Almost 150 objects are featured, and each had a specific purpose for Bainu Valley peoples. Maternal images, sleek statues, helmet masks with human faces, imaginative ceramic vessels, and elaborate iron and copper objects. The confluence of peoples in the Bainu River Valley over the centuries created one of Africa's major artistic legacies. Ceremonial masks were used to celebrate ancestors. Curator Karen Milborn describes the work of an artist named Atai. Look at the sharp curve of this nose, the smooth finish of the cheeks, and then the much more um, glossy sort of if you will, modulated tone of this particular mask. And then here we have one where he kept the wood dark. So you can see how with each one he's referring to ancestral presence through the white or distinctive individual features such as in the curvature of the nose. You can see his bold hand. We know that they're all by one man, but you can see how each one is unique. Milborn describes the fascination with the divine and supernatural evident in objects that were documented in the 1960s. He doesn't look human, so it's a fusion of animal imagery with human imagery that combines to create a vision of the supernatural, a supernatural vision that is then performed. And what's extraordinary in the installation here at the National Museum of African Art is that we have masks from the Chamba, from neighboring Middle Benue peoples, and then footage from the 1960s that shows these masks, sometimes these actual masks, at other times comparable masks that were still in performance performing. So over my shoulder you can see the masks as they run and dance and come alive and bring the spirit into your physical realm. Marla Burns, director of the Fowler Museum in Los Angeles, says the Nigerian figure objects were used in ceremonies. The significance of the figures we think is to represent chiefs who have died and also to be sculptures that are removed from a cave where they were likely kept to uh, take part in annual harvest festivals where the beneficence of the ancestors could be invoked to ensure that a good crop would, would ensue. Scarification, or scar designs around the navel, was much more than decorative, representing the interconnectivity of generations, according to Milburn. So that belly button, that umbilicus, is the point where she was connected to her mother, to the family from which she came. That's the spot where she was nurtured, and she has that literally bodily connection to the generations that came before. As she grows in pregnancy and gives birth to the next generation, her umbilicus will stretch and it will raise, and that will be the point from which she nourishes the next generation. This exhibit highlights traditions and artistic innovation distinctive to central Nigeria, according to Governor Gabriel Suswan. I think the significance of this exhibition is to unify globally uh, people from different backgrounds and have a better appreciation of where we're coming from and who we are. Central Nigeria Unmasked, Arts of the Bainu River Valley, will be on display at the Smithsonian Museum of African Art in Washington through March 2012. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.